These meters here help GRU monitor each resident's utility usage every month. But some apartments like Campus Live say if you get too cold, grab a pair of sweats, or if it's too hot in your apartment, wear less clothing. Earlier today, Jacksonville's first black mayor was inaugurated into Duval County. And in just a couple of days, he will take his seat right here in City Hall. The national debt is hovering around $14 trillion, and Congress is trying to make a compromise, but House Republicans are seeking to cut Medicare. And as we found out today, senior citizens aren't too keen on that idea. When they aren't fighting crime or fighting fires, the Jacksonville police officers and firefighters are taking it to the ring to raise money for charity. Abandoned houses like this one are subject to criminal activity. According to police, this is the final resting place for the 10th rape victim this month and police believe the suspect is not acting alone. Whether it's walking around campus, studying in the computer lab, or grabbing a bite to eat, students are always texting. Here's how some students at the University of Florida answered when asked to describe text messaging in one word. Convenient. Easy. Essential. Easy. Fast. Efficient. According to the Nielsen Company, students send about 3,000 text messages a day. Here at the University of Florida, teachers are complaining that students are starting to slack. However, students feel that text messaging is the easiest way to communicate. Although text messaging seems to be the dominant way to communicate, some teachers believe it is affecting students' professional writing. I feel like emails with your instructors should be a little bit more formal than maybe an email to your friend. So that would be where I see texting kind of upsetting student literacy. But some students at UF say text messaging doesn't really have an effect. I don't think it affects them at all because when I write my papers, I make sure I'm in an environment where um, I'm not distracted by my phone or other people. And I feel that when I do write my papers, I write the correct term, I spell out you. Teachers argue students abbreviate and misspell words because they're so used to using peer-to-peer -peer communication. And they say because of so much texting, students sometimes use text lingo when writing formal papers. While texting is definitely not going anywhere, many teachers are thinking about ways to eliminate the problems. Brittany Jones, WUFT News. Marching over to the NFL, oh, did the Saints go marching in on Sunday with their big Super Bowl win over the Colts. And they are still partying. The number one Gators defeated the Georgia Bulldogs 41 to 17 in a big SEC rival matchup this weekend. After a four-game road trip to Clearwater, the Gators softball team will be hitting the field at home.